You may have noticed this time around that the game lets you know that something new was automatically added, which is a good thing. If you're on console, you'll know that last time a new map was added, there were some additional steps you had to take to get the update. Let's take a look at the Lake COVID map. The new gateway is located in the northwest corner of the map. The quickest way to get there is indicated on the map with the black line. If you thought unlocking the quarry was tough, Imandra takes the difficulty level up a notch for sure. This guide will walk you through step by step on how to unlock the garage in Imandra. We will be using the 2's 420 with roof rack. It will give us the best stability going over the big rocks and while not the most fuel efficient, it does have the biggest fuel capacity. More importantly, it has the highest torque of all the scout vehicles, which is good because we're going to need a tow in some certain situations. The only downside is that we won't be able to equip any chain tires, and there are some icy spots on the new map we will need to avoid. The truck we are going to use is the most fuel efficient in the game, with a 350 liter fuel capacity. The Azov 64131, being an 8x8 with all-wheel drive and diff lock always on, will give us the stability, power, and fuel efficiency that will give us the best chance to complete this task. There are other options you can use, of course, and you can find a link in the description to see the top 5 highest torque trucks that are also the most fuel efficient in the game. Now that you made it to Imandra for the first time, you will want to take the road that will lead you to directly north of the gateway. We are going to be following this road all the way up to the warehouse to get the task called Broken Power Station. Stop at the airfield along the way to fuel up at the trailer and pick up the new truck, the 2's 108 Warthog, located not too far from that trailer. Once you get to the warehouse, you'll notice that right next to it is the trailer store. This will be your new central base of operations for right now, where you can fuel up and get repairs. Park your scout vehicle here and bring the Azov 64131 over to this same location. Be sure to equip the crane and a saddle low. The task will require you to go a short distance to a remote depot to pick up the metal beams you need to complete the task. The depot is located on the top of a hill on a narrow path with dense forest. Since you won't be able to turn around with a trailer, I found the best way to do this is counterclockwise. From the marsh area, take a right and follow the path all the way up to the depot. Pick up the metal beams and then go the opposite way in which you came. There will be some spots that will get hairy and you'll come close to losing your cargo, but just take your time. If you mess up, you can get the 2's 420 to get you back upright and use your crane to pick up any spilled cargo. You need to take the metal beams over to a substation, but make a pit stop over at that trailer store to fuel up before you continue. You should have both vehicles completely repaired and fueled up now. Let's make our way to the substation. Along the way you will come across the site of your future garage and it already has a fuel trailer there waiting for you, which we will use on the next task. Stick to the main road, use your scout to pull you past any obstructions, and you want to head towards the northwest area of the map that has a roadblock task called Magnitude of 5. Here you'll come to a side road and you'll be able to take this to an area of the lake that you can safely cross. Stick to the shore and use the path with the broken up ice to avoid falling through. Should you fall through, just summon your scout vehicle for the rescue. Once you get to the substation to drop off the metal beams, that will conclude the first task you need to complete. The next and final task you need to do will be the hardest, and you can pick it up conveniently located right where you dropped off the metal beams. It's called Repairing Power Lines, and will require you to go to another remote depot, this time to pick up two sets of wooden planks, so you can repair broken power lines at two very different and very hard to get to locations. From the substation, go back the way you came and make a pit stop at the home of your future garage. Make sure both vehicles get fueled up. If you need repairs, then go back to the trailer store. From the garage, head on over towards the remote depot. Another bridge is out, so you'll need to go underneath while avoiding falling through the ice again. The ice is stable just enough in the area right below the bridge that you can pass through. 
Get up the hill and pick up two sets of wooden planks and then make your way back to the garage to fuel up again. Use your scout vehicle or your partner to get you out of trouble when necessary. You'll notice I said partner because at this point you may have come to the realization, having to switch between both vehicles, that you're playing solo on a co-op map. If it hasn't hit you yet, trust me, it will. It's way more fun if you grab a partner for this next part. Here we go. It seems simple enough from the map. Looks like there's even multiple ways to get to the first power line, but this can be deceiving. I tried to do this multiple ways. At first I tried the most obvious path which was a real pain and ended up failing spectacularly. I checked to see if the nearby task labeled Mountain Landslide had anything to do with it as a potential way of clearing the way and that was also a no-go. So you'll actually want to avoid all the roads leading to the power line. These are the most treacherous roads in the game. You'll be following them one minute, then they'll disappear and you find yourself hung up on a tree. So the best approach I found was to go back to the road that I took to get to the substation for the first task and ride up to the top of the hill. This is much easier as you don't have to deal with snowed in roads and dense forest. Once you get to the top, you'll figure out there's a back entrance to get to the power line. If done properly, you can ride down the rocky terrain in low gear without too much issue. Since I was frustrated, I just dragged the A's off and cargo down to the destination. I had to clean it all up with the crane, but you get the picture. After repairing the power line, I thought it would be a good idea to take another shortcut by trying to fit through the narrow rock path ahead. So the game punished me again, but it was a perfect opportunity to show off my crane skills which I have been perfecting just for this very moment. All jokes aside, it worked. I was able to get back on the road that would take me to the final destination. Quite a bit of nice scenery along the way. Let's take a moment to get a nice view of the waterfall. The final stretch is much easier which was quite a relief as I knew I was one step closer to unlocking the garage. Just up the hill and around the corner and that's it. Drop off the last piece of cargo and the garage is unlocked. And there you have it. I'm sure there are other ways to complete this task, but this is what worked for me the best, so I hope you find it helpful. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you're new around here, check out my channel and other videos that you might find helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. As always, thank you so much for your support, and see you next time.